Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for February 9th, the Leo full moon. I uh, This is my second one. I just did one, and it was a good one. It was really good. It was too good. <laughs> Anyhow, um, but I decided to do it again because after I did it, and it's downloading, it's just about downloaded now. After I did it, I watched it. I always do. And uh, I kept on saying, there's going to be an apology. There's going to be an apology for somebody, from somebody. Because that's what I saw when I was doing the reading. And then as I, went, but as I was watching it on the playback, I kept on saying, that could be somebody new. I said to myself several times, that could be, that could be a new. Because we had the page of pentacles right here. That's a new enterprise. That's a new, a new opportunity where somebody steps forward in the air and they give something. Now, the page of pentacles can also be somebody, a proposal. Okay, could also be a new job. It could be starting a business, starting it's starting a new venture. Okay, and it could be somebody that is coming forward with an offer, uh, and it could lead to stability with hard work and perseverance and putting in effort. It's like somebody wants to put in effort to a relationship because over here we had the Empress. And she it looks like, and, and she had like two people bowing down to her, so it's like she has a choice between two people, probably more because she's the empress. Um, but so it could be an apology, or it could be somebody brand new that is coming forward with an offer. This person is definitely scared. They're scared to death because, and they're scared shitless of rejection. And you, I am gonna post the other video, but after this one, okay? So it's just gonna sit in limbo for a minute because I want to see what comes up in this reading. The first card out was destiny, was the wheel of fortune, so it's meant to be. Um, so anyway, somebody is going to be receiving an offer, okay? And it's it's a new offer, and it's and you know if you think about the wheel of fortune, it's about starting a cycle, and one cycle is ending. It's a new cycle. Okay, so a new cycle is starting and it's a very positive change with the Wheel of Fortune upright. It's very positive. So it's definitely a good time, even though the Mercury retrograde, whatever. This is about love. And I know it is because the Empress was here and the Empress is about unconditional love. She's all about love. She's the goddess of love. Okay, so this is about love. Um and I think this empress has two choices. So anyway, I, I did the reading and I let it start to download. I was going to let it go and then I watched it and then I went to go do the dishes and I'm doing the dishes and I'm like, hmm, I know that somebody new. I know that is somebody new coming in. So I'm like, oh, I got to go do another one. I got to go do another one because, you know, I really think that is somebody new um, coming in with an offer. Um but it could be somebody from your past because we had the two little round cards and one was somebody offering a hand so somebody could be helping you out okay i don't know what that means but somebody's like offering a hand in some way so which is interesting um but we also had somebody from the past uh helping you financially as well so it's interesting so it's like somebody from the past could be somebody that you grew up with even um but it could also, you know, when you get, when, you, when it says somebody from the past, you got to remember it could be somebody from a past life. And, and people get hung up on somebody from the past. They hear that and they think, oh my God, I don't want my ex. I don't want my ex either. But that doesn't let me get hung up on those words, okay? Somebody from the past is somebody that you have known before, okay? Keep that in mind. Don't get hung up on those words. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what do we got? What do we have for the Leo full moon or thereabouts, you know, the week after going all the way up to Valentine's Day? Okay, what do we have? But this is around the 9th, um, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, something like that. Timing is fluid. One card, please. Is that it? Yeah awareness somebody has manifested something this is the magician card this is uh, let go of the old and bring in the new this is as above so below you asked for it here it is there's a golden opportunity here so yeah somebody ha there somebody has manifested something it's like their prayers have manifested a door it's like a door has opened interesting oneness we have a new beginning here we do have a new beginning here 
somebody is very powerful. They have, it's like you, you've, you asked for this. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, we're going to take these. They fell out just like that. Letting the past go. This is leaving the past hurts behind. The three of swords reverse. So yes, this is leaving the past hurts behind. Queen of Swords reverse. Now the Queen of Swords reverse is somebody that is lonely, somebody that is bitter, somebody that is resentful. Um, hmm. Hurt. Hard. Hard and cold. Okay, this person has been hurt very badly in the past. So we could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Virgo as well. This person has been hurt. Their heart has been ripped right out. We have somebody whose heart has been ripped out. No joke. No joke. So this person may be a little cold, maybe rather cho choose to be alone. You know, I, I just want to be alone. I'd rather protect myself th than, you know, get involved with anybody. It's better to just be alone. So that's the kind of energy of this right here. It's like I've been hurt. I don't, I'm never going through that again. This person, it learns from their mistakes typically okay so but sometimes to an extreme so anyway this person very intelligent um may come across as 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 a bitch but it's be, you know you don't just become a bitch okay it happens because of experiences so yeah anyway a hermit. Now, this is enlightenment. This is a wise, wise individual who is consciously aware. Alone. So, this person is a loner. We do have a loner who has decided to... No. I'd rather just be alone. One means one. Not two. Okay? So, one means one. So, we have somebody who has chosen to be alone because of their past pain. That's what they've chosen. Male or female. But now maybe they have some sort of new awareness. Maybe, you know, subconsciously, you know, all this thinking this person is doing, you know, and they've been talking to the, the moon, talking to the universe, talking to whoever's listening out there. While they were talking, you know, one is about you know, one, if you get, if you see one, 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 your thoughts become things. Your thoughts become things. Somebody has manifested something through their despair. Okay. Through their talking to whoever's listening, they have manifested something. So that whatever they have manifested through their awareness, through their divine oneness with the universe, this is somebody who's gone through an awakening. They have gone through a spiritual awakening because of the pain that they have suffered. Yes, it may have made them into a bitch. But, you know, maybe eventually that will go away over time. Maybe. But let's just see what we got here. Um, oh, a wish being granted now. I could have told you that. I think I already did. Yes, your prayers have been answered. We have the star card here. This is a wish being granted. You asked for this. You did. You did. So now your dream is coming true. This is what you asked for. The wheel of fortune reversed now. Now the wheel of fortune reversed is, you know, it's not a good time. It's not a good time for this. I'm not, I don't want this, right? It's not a good time setbacks, bad luck. Somebody has definitely been through a bad luck situation. Things don't work out, right? The past mistakes coming back to haunt. You don't want to repeat those mistakes. Hell no. I don't want to repeat those mistakes. Somebody has come a long way. Look at that. Somebody has come a long way from what broke them. From that horrendous loss. And now they're probably getting a little, little curious. Okay. Or somebody has been watching them. There's some sort of curiosity here with the Page of Swords. Also a defensiveness. You know. That's what I see. It's like a defensiveness. 
been doing research. Somebody has been doing, this person has been doing a lot of research, a lot of growth, a lot of healing. This per, we have somebody here that has chosen to be single. They have chosen to be alone and they've been becoming more spiritually away, more spiritually one with the universe, right? They have gone through some sort of awakening. They've manifested something through their prayers, okay? They've asked for something and they're going to get, it's like they've probably been asking all kinds of questions like, why did this happen? What kind of, what was my, what was the purpose for this? You know, they've been asking, you know, it's like this is now, now you know what I just heard? The reason. We talk, we've heard that, we've had this song a lot. This is the reason. It's like God or angels or whoever it is, Pluto, Saturn, who I don't know. Somebody is like, okay, now here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why. Why that didn't work out. The hangman reversed. This was refusing to go in and struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson fighting you and he had a lesson to learn you had to learn something from that person that person came into your life to teach you something about yourself to wake you up to to make you go through this awakening that you've just been through to help you on your spiritual path to to to, to build your character okay usually there's an infinity sign on the magician card which is about build your character to get you ready so this person, it may have felt like a punishment, but it, it brought you to where you are now. Look at how much more awakened you are. You're not even the same person you used to be. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Now you just need to sit back and let me do the work. That's like the universe. That's what they're saying. It's like, just sit back. You don't have to do anything now. You know, and it's like you weren't, you probably weren't putting in effort into finding anybody, right? If you're single, whatever, if you are in a coupled relationship, you may be bitter. You may be resentful. You could be in a situation that you're praying to get out of, you know, we have somebody here that needs to withdraw and be alone. We're all at different phases in our life. Okay, so we have, so for some people that are single and have been alone and have chosen to be alone, you've gone through this phase of enlightenment. There is somebody here that is stuck with the wheel of fortune reversed and they are bitter and they are hateful and they are resentful and they're praying to leave these past hurts re behind. They're praying to leave this heartache behind for some, somebody is actually, they're still in it. They're stuck. They haven't, they haven't withdrawn themselves yet. And th but this is taking action to bring success. So for that group of people, somebody is going to take action to become go on their go their own way, even though it hurts. So you know to go within to go through that awakening. It is about the awakening. It's about doing the right thing for yourself. It's taking action, being willing to shed the old to bring in the new. That is what the magician is. So it's like whatever you have asked for, whether you're in the relationship now or you're single, I'm telling you what, whatever you asked for, whatever you asked for, you are about to get. Your thoughts become things. You know, maybe I should just stop right there. I think that's a good idea. So, remember we said that we had this reading the other day, you're about to get served what you deserve. And it goes either way. The Hermit, that is Jesus Consciousness, is highly aware. This is somebody that needs to go into Hermit mode. And they're about to. Or somebody that has been in hermit mode. And now it's like, this is, this is, uh, you asked for something. Your prayers have been heard. Your prayers are being answered. Help is arriving. Help. This is help. The star card is help is arriving for this person. Whether you are in the relationship or whatever the case is, or you're single, help is arriving.
and it, it's probably this is and you think about the page of swords this is conflict okay so it does make you feel conflicted right and you're, you're you might even be a little surprised at this we'll get one more card judgment 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 is an epiphany an awakening truth revealed karma being held accountable um a spiritual awakening it's a it's an epiphany this is your wake-up call this is some sort of life-changing decision this is high high consciousness this is an awakening rising from the ashes i'm not kidding you we have somebody that is about to experience a whole new life you are no longer going to be who you were. This is a release and a rebirth. This is making that call. This is the judgment call. It's judgment day. This is the truth. Accepting the truth. Accepting the truth. This is also a final decision. This is finality. Judgment. This is also somebody from the past. And this is somebody guiding you, perhaps, help from, uh, from the other side. And this one is too. So both of these could be somebody from the other side that is guiding this, that is helping you. But it could also be somebody here that is coming to help. There is definitely a spiritual awakening here. We have, a birth, we have a birth of a new life. I know we do. We had the Empress in the last one. Somebody is about to, to start on a new chapter. That is for sure. Somebody is going to be needing to uh, make a judgment call. Oh, God. Major new beginning. Okay, starting fresh, starting from scratch. New life. Leaving all the past behind. What you once knew is going to be no more. End of story. Good luck. 